All right, let's take a look at the raised chain band stitch. Uh, this one's kind of fun because it's going to sew a series of horizontal stitches, and then we're going to do a bit of a braid on top of it. So I've drawn myself out little markings that are 3 eighths of an inch wide. And we want to make sure that our stitches come all the way down this, evenly spaced, and are perfectly parallel amongst those lines. All right, now that we've drawn our parallel lines going all the way down, we're going to bring our thread up at the top of that set of lines, and we're gonna work with the eye of our needle and do a, lot, a little bit of weaving all the way down. So first, go under your first stitch and bring it up through the top, and then come bring your thread back down to the bottom and come down the other side from underneath that stitch, creating a bit of a loop that you're going to pull your thread through. Go ahead and snug that little knot you've created up in the middle of your work, and then repeat those steps going down. So we're gonna go up into the left, and then we're going to come back down from the right, through the loop, and pull it nice and snug, centering our stitch on our little ladder, creating this lovely little uh, run and dimple between our stitches. All right, once we get down to the last one, I'm just gonna check and make sure all of my stitches are sitting nicely and where I want them in a nice little line. And then I will take my last stitch down into the fabric and finish it off. And you've got a raised chain band stitch. Now, historically, this stitch is, uses an outlining stitch and it's usually a, something like this. The width of it may vary, the length of it may vary, but usually it's horizontal stitches and one raised chain down the center, but there's no reason you couldn't use this as a filling stitch. If we make our horizontal stitch fill a shape, we can always come down with multiple rows of our raised chain band stitch, and we can use whatever colors we want. There are no rules when we're doing modern freehand embroidery. And that's a raised chain band stitch used as a filling stitch. Uh, some of the lovely things about it is that it, in a lot of ways, it almost mirrors black work. It mirrors a counted stitch in a really delightful kind of way. So if you want to incorporate an element of that into your work, this is a really uh, high impact way to do it. And it fills a lot of space very quickly.